place called uh, Anago Ueno. Anago is the, uh, well, what did I say? Saltwater eel. Yes. Yes, yeah, saltwater. Yeah, saltwater eel. And that is another thing that uh, Miyajima is very famous for. Mm -hmm. I said, so, well, uh, what, what you get? in the time that uh, I <laughs> took to put in another battery, our food's here. <laughs> What was I saying? Oh yeah, so it's a saltwater eel, which is very famous in Miyajima. Eels typically pretty expensive. Right. Anyways, but this place is uh, from Miyajima Gucci Station. This place is literally like right out the station, like two minute walk. It's called Anago Ueno. And the g I bought, okay, so I bought a sweater yesterday. I bought a sweater yesterday. <laughs> I bought a sweater yesterday. And the guy that uh, owns the store or whatever was telling me that he's from Hiroshima and he is the one who's like uh, Anago Ueno is a very famous or like very like probably the best tasting one in uh, Miyajima so he recommended that we come here and it happens to be right outside the station so that's really cool but yeah probably gonna go buy buy more sweaters sweater t-shirt things oh, but anyways go. let's take a look at the Anago shall we let's take a look shall we wash your hands boy. oh yeah we gotta use these hot towels these are really hot towels. This is the best towel in Japan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not one towel was this warm. This All right, warm. now let's take a. Look. Oh my God! Is there a bug in my pants? I'm like getting. Now let's take a look <laughs> at the goods, shall we? Papa! Wow! Wow! Oh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh, seriously, that looks so really freaking good. Uh, like, yeah, wow. Wow. Oh, oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> the guy, that guy on the right side of the screen is smacking like a freaking horse. Take a look at that. Take a look at that. Oh, yeah. So Josh, what do you think? Dude, it's like probably my all-time favorite foods. Eel? Yeah. It's it's kind of not meant to do. You could say that I've never been eating eel. <laughs> what do you like about it? It's actually it tastes almost like barbecue meat. To be honest, it's like a mix. It's like a combo. If you were to combine fish. Barbecue, like Korean barbecue combined together, you'll get eel. <laughs> like the salmon and Korean barbecue. Damn. Boy loves Korean eel. barbecue. <laughs> Dude, Korean barbecue is probably my favorite <laughs> of all that stuff. This honestly is awesome. And I love sushi too now. But at this on a sushi, <laughs> the best sushi. But the most expensive, but the best. <laughs> Finally made it onto the bullet train. I was kind of afraid we we're not gonna make the one that we wanted to make, but we actually freaking made it, boys. Look at this guy cutting in front of everybody. <laughs> I think Josh is freaking delirious. He comes off the bullet train and says, Yu Gi Oh! in front of a bunch of people's faces. Okay, Yu Gi Oh! Is giving another. This is like my fourth, fourth or fifth one, honestly. The third one of the Masha ones is so good. He's addicted. He's addicted to a convenience store. Every, he has to come to a convenience store like every other second. He goes, You're not gonna buy anything? You should buy this. You should buy this. You're not gonna buy anything? We just went to another convenience store like literally 15 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> it is, but we stopped like <laughs> this <laughs> tree. <laughs> All right, let's see how it turned out. All right, weird as terrible. Let's start up there. Terrible as usual. What? Now we got our pre-workout in Yugi Boy. Oh hell yeah. Because they have, in, in Japan, it's like, you know how America got racing games, right? With a little whatever? Here they have that, but they also have Mario Kart with a thing. Oh, yeah, like I Kart. am definitely playing Mario. Dude, we gotta go. Not, dude, everyone's gonna be jealous. More Super Mario Kart. Everyone's gonna be jealous. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So we're back at the hotel, just checked in again. And we're about to go check out Josh's uh, cabin room. See what the cabin room's like. The cabin room is only about like $30 a night. So that's a pretty good price. And we're about to see, we're about to see why. <laughs> Cabins, baby. Everyone shut your mouth. No speaking in the cabin area. Just be quiet. Shh. Look, these are the cabins. It's just like straight up like, oh, it's not that bad actually. Yeah, it's not that bad. It's like a little, I mean, no privacy, but that's okay. It's like a maze. It's getting smaller and smaller. But I mean, it's kind of everything you need. It's not too much. Very modest living here. And here's Josh's room. Let's take a look, shall we? Let's explore. And we're done. <laughs> <laughs> look, so this is the cabin. Very small. That's a mirror up there? Why is the mirror so high? What the heck? Still got a TV in here too, though. Not bad. Yeah, that's really all you need. Yeah. And I, put my shit right outside. <laughs> I probably wouldn't do that, but that's okay. The uh, gym of the hotel. Oh my gosh. Dude, these freaking, oh my gosh, all the carbs I've been eating have been going, uh, have been doing well for the uh, the pump department because I feel it's so hard. It's look, look, look at this. It's freaking crazy. All the abs are fading a little bit, but you know. It kind of sucks though because uh, this place is like, that's just a good thing. This place is, um, there's like two separate uh, uh, sec sessions of times you're allowed to use the gym, and it closes at 10 p.m., which is kind of hard, hard for uh, me because, you know, we get back pretty late and I'm pretty pooped and everything, and they don't have that many weights, as you can see. It's just like this, and then the dumbbell selection is very poor. It only goes up to like 45 pounds, but still. So I just, instead of like doing dumbbells because that's not heavy enough for me for um, bench press movements, which I did some bench press type of stuff, um, and flies. Flies is okay, though. I just did an incline bench with this Smith machine thing and it was very difficult, but I did some biceps, but uh, yeah, got to get out of here because they're about to close. It's literally like almost 10 o'clock, so yeah, but I wanted to do something um, just like physically active, like strenuous, you know what I mean? Just get some physical activity in besides walking. It is super humid in that room, like the air conditioner like comes on randomly sometimes, but it's very humid in that training room, which is kind of nice because you sweat a little bit, but um. Yeah, it's just, it's kind of actually hard to work out because there's some people that came in and they, I guess, I think they wanted to use the bench, but there's only one bench in there. And since I was using it, they like looked around for a while. They're like, oh, this guy's just way stronger than I am. And then they left. <laughs> no, they didn't actually say that, but they just left after like looking around. So yeah, probably gonna be able, not going to be able to do that too often, especially with the plans with Josh and everything. But uh, I would like to be able to do that a little bit. Back in my room finally. I like to talk normal voice now, so I can like to be able to do that a little bit just because yeah, I feel like I'm just freaking wasting away, you know, all the walking is great for cardio and stuff and I've been burning a lot of calories doing it, but I just feel like I'm kind of wasting away um, not like activating my muscles at all because if you don't use it, you lose it, as they say. I think I'm going to go out and get something to eat though actually because I have not really eaten too much today. It's not really that much when you consider that every single day I'm burning like this. Watch, check this out guys. Boom! Look at this. Oh, that's the workout. Whoops, hang on. Today's gonna be a little skewed just because I actually uh, worked out a little bit, but look at this. From all the walking and just like 40 minutes of working out, 3,500 calories burned. And with the things that I ate today, that was definitely not anywhere near 3,000 calories. So I kind of want to go out and like get something to eat just so I don't, um, losing weight's fine or whatever, but you just don't want to overdo it, you know, and then especially it just makes me feel super tired. Let's go see if Josh wants to eat anything. Not responding to Instagram, probably passed out. So I'm gonna go uh, invade his cabin because you know there's no locks on his door. I can't get in here with my key because it's not a cabin. Oh my god. Maybe I'll just go to a convenience store and buy some food because actually there's something that I really wanted from the convenience store. So I guess I'll check it out. I bet he fell asleep, honestly. All right, so the good thing is, is that the convenience store is, like, the Family Mart is literally right outside uh, my apartment, so, or what the heck, hotel. So they're able to just go there and grab some food. Um, so I got this uh, right here. It's going to be part of my dinner. I got a lot, actually, actually I got a lot of stuff, actually, because I'm trying to hit that proton, you feel me? But uh, this is a cold, cold um, 
mixing noodles, if I translate it. Look how thick these noodles are. Jeez Louise. But yes, I like eating, like, honestly, I really like cold foods for some reason. But yeah, cold, stirred up, kind of spicy noodles right here. Looks pretty good. I'll show you the other stuff after I take a shower. I need to take a shower, guys. Oh, yeah. In the convenience store, look at this, it's all stuck together. You gotta break it apart with this soup, you feel me? Mm, whilst not trying to splash all over the place, getting my clothes dirty. And voila, we have the finished product. Yum. <laughs> it's like midnight, it's pretty late, you know? But uh, I was planning planning the some of the trips, you know? Because uh, as you some, some of you may know, I'm very flexible person, which is both a strength and a weakness sometimes. So I'm kind of going with the flow, but trying to plan some of the things that me and Josh will do. So I'm uh, just eating really late now. But let's get a little taste test, you feel me? Look right here. Oh yeah. The label says spicy, right? And typically, Japanese does, Japan does not do anything spicy at all. Whatever they say is spicy, is not spicy. But this actually has some spice to it. Like, there's some kick to this. It's on my tongue. That's actually, that's very brave, Family Marv. Like, who, who's gonna buy this? Japanese people will take one bite of it. Oh my god, too spicy. <laughs> this is pretty good though. Like, I, I like this. This is actually pretty good. Mm. Alright, so I think I mentioned this earlier. This right here is a... Let me open it up, actually. Bought this in Hiroshima Station right before we left. We were kind of in a rush trying to make the, the bullet train. But I happened to run into a store and just buy one of these 100 yen. This right here is a momiji manju, which is a like a yeast bun. Well, manju means like yeast bun kind of thing. But pretty much it's just like a little pastry. Uh, momiji is this maple, Japanese maple. And so Hiroshima or Miyajima, whatever, is famous for this. Let's just see how it is though. This is it. So we're gonna open it up, like, all right. So, this is pretty much what it looks like. It's a Japanese maple. Look at that, boom. And yeah, you can see like it's fluffy. A little cake, right? And there's stuff inside. It's like some kind of a filling is inside. Usually, the typical one is red bean paste, but this is, uh, I got a matcha flavor because I'm obsessed with matcha, so yeah. Pretty much that's it, so let's taste it. Ooh. Just like that. Yeah. Nothing really special, honestly. Tastes like, like the bread's kind of like pancakey, but it's like a little not as moist. It's not really as moist. And the paste is just sweet. So nothing like special. Like uh, some people really like this thing, but I find it to be pretty, pretty average. Josh actually ate his on the train, on the bullet train, without me recording him. But he said it was also just very average. So yeah. Anyways, that's gonna be the end of today's uh, our day today, which was a trip to Hiroshima and Miyajima. And tomorrow we're gonna be going somewhere else. So see you in the next one. Peace.